Welcome to another edition of The Daily. I'm Samantha Eric here with Simon Borg after a wild end to the World Cup qualifying in CONCACAF region. The U.S. beating Panama 3-2 in stoppage time. Graham Zussi with a header, followed by Aaron Johansson's strike. Yep. They have now put an end to Panama's World Cup dreams for 2014. And Mexico, they are now in fourth place for that intercontinental playoff. And Samantha, I think a lot of fans waking up this morning with conflicting emotions. Happy the U.S. won a game. Uh, disappointed maybe some that Mexico still has a lifeline. And then others crushed for Panama, who had that playoff spot in their hands. They were celebrating. Reportedly, the players were telling the U.S. players, hey, take it easy. But the U.S. players, Kyle Beckerman responded to them, I got a spot on the roster to fight for. And they did that till the very end. Brad Davis with the cross, Zussi and that with the header. And then Aaron Johansson really putting that final dagger in the U.S. with a professional finish to that game. And Mexico have to thank them because there was a period of time where Mexico were out of the World Cup. It was like a six-minute span, and they were salvaged by the U.S. Right. Well, Mexico is now, again, in that intercontinental playoff versus New Zealand, November 13th or 14th. Stay tuned to MLSsoccer.com for complete coverage. <laughs> Moving on to MLS, we are back for a midweek matchup between the LA Galaxy versus Montreal Impact. Heat of the playoff race here, both in fourth place in their respective conferences, and both really need a win tonight for three points to secure their spot in the postseason. Samantha, fourth place might sound like a comfortable position, but it's far from it. There are teams in seventh place in their respective conferences who can still catch up to both Montreal and L.A. So I'd be shocked if there's a tie in this game because I think both teams need the three points. Now, it's going to be tougher for Montreal. They're coming off of six-game stretch where they lost five matches. They have to travel all the way to the West Coast, and they're looking sluggish. They're looking slow, a few ideas, and the Galaxy are going to come at them with a young lineup, especially with Landon Donovan out as he's expected to be with the left ankle injury. Omar Gonzalez, still a game time decision. They're going to put a young lineup out there. And I pity Montreal for having to deal with Jossie Zardes. We've seen what he's done to teams lately. Bass. He's going to be a big weapon tonight. Well, one bit of good news for Montreal Impact, Marco DeVaio extending his contract to 2014. So maybe they can ride that good news yep. vibe all the way to StubHub Center and get a win. Well, you can catch that game tonight at 10.30 p.m. Eastern on MLS Live. Some news out of San Jose yesterday. Longtime MLS veteran Romero Corrales is set to retire at the end of the season. Simon, he's the last remaining MLS player from the inaugural season in 1996. Yeah, and Romero Corrales, not the most high profile of names in MLS, but here's why we have to celebrate this retirement. Corrales, as you said, started his professional career in 96, the first MLS season. He was the 81st pick in that first draft. And this is what MLS is all about. He's made a career in MLS, cut his teeth in those early years, even emigrated to Scandinavia, uh, got some experience there. And he came back with San Jose, his hometown team, uh, and has led them to a lot of success. And he hopes he has enough left in the tank to lead them to a playoff spot. But congratulations on a great career, Ramiro Corrales. All right, well, that's all we have for The Daily today. We'll be back tomorrow with more.